Hello viewers, Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today? Wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. I'm continuing on with my Tarot Scope series. Uh, I'll be reading and looking at the Sun Sign of Leo for 2021. Some have asked me if I have my rising sign in Leo or my moon, should I be watching this? If it resonates with you for sure, it means that you're here listening to this reading at the right time, in the right place, so there could be messages for you. Okay, this is the third time I've recorded the Leo Terrascope. What is going on here? Some of the messages that have already come through for you is that there, uh, there could be a quickness to next year. There could be a pace. Things start to quicken up for some Leos. Some may also be offered a new job, which may involve commuting, even though you really don't want to be a commuter. You're going to take it anyway, because uh, Leos in 2021 have a strong desire, a strong will, for, for self-expression, if we go to that fifth house of the um, in astrology, is ruled by Leo, and it is about self-expression. It is about creativity. It is about you know having that freedom, and this is what I feel that you're craving. There are difficult choices ahead for some Leos um, in the past reading. I'll just try and briefly uh, let you know what was there, and then we'll draw some new cards, but. I did see choices in January, uh, followed by um, uh, in February, uh, perhaps dealings with, um, it could be any type of institution, it could be education, it could be health department, it could be, it could even be, you know, religion, um, or it could even be a direct connection with spirit, depending on how spiritual you are. But Hierophant is the number five, so it's all about change and it's all about going um, out to the outer realms, if you like. Um, it's an exploration as well. So some of you may be exploring your own spirituality. Um, you got extremely positive cards uh, throughout the reading, although when we drilled down, there were issues for Leos around relationships. Uh, and also worry for some about a parent. Um, you close down the year uh, really being well thought of or sought after for your ability, uh, your reliability, not just your reliability, but your ability to do the job, to get the job done. Whether you're working or whether you're in the community, it doesn't matter. By December, you get that Eight of Pentacles, which is, you know, for some uh, you know, really gainful um, uh, employment, new investment streams being sought out, as I said, for the skill that you have. But let's just go again for the third time. They were some of the messages that arose in my previous reading. Now let's, uh, I'm pulling from The Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed Then I'm going to my Golden Universal Tarot. And I'll clarify with the mini right away. Okay. Leo, thank you, Spirit. Leo, 2021. Okay. Leo, 2021. I also got a strong uh, pull uh, that you may hear from people in your past, somebody from your past, blast from the past. I also got that very strong pull, and I got a direct channel to tell you to listen to your intuition and not just to listen to it, but act upon it act upon it as well. That will be very important, very important. Uh, that is uh, the wise thing to do. So let's have a look at Leo 2021. What's coming up for Leo in 2021? Alrighty, so we have, um, to be fair, interesting, Jan you know, because I got that pull where you have a choice to be to, to make. You could be put in the middle of something as well, to be fair. Uh, that is number 38, um, which is adding to an 11, um, which is an angel number as well, to be fair. Uh, in January, uh, make sure that uh, whatever, you know, decisions that, are come up, that come up, 
that you uh, weigh them up equally uh, and I think, you know, choose that fairest option there. Now we have building blocks. Yeah, that was a big theme of the last pull and the pull before that, building blocks. This is talking, uh, again, this entrepreneurial spirit. So um, number 28 adding up to 10 uh, and breaking down to 1, building blocks. I think this is a year where you are recognised for some particular talent that you have. For those that are working, uh, I do feel it will. Uh, this talent will pay off because we've got Treasure Island here, which is a nine. So it's it's like you get to the eight, then you get to the nine. Um, it's sort of it's like a step up. You step up in some way in 2021, and we have number ten. Unfinished Symphony, breaking down again to number one. And we also have Clean It Up. So not all of the year is going to come out roses for you, although I did see roses in my past reading, which means for some Leos there could be a relationship on offer. Um, there's going to be work to do. And also it's like when you do... Make the wrong choice, um, you know, because Leos can get you know get carried away, and they can be a bit hedonistic sometimes. Um, and if they if you do make the wrong choice, you're going to have to clean up your own mess because you may have been helped in the past. Um, you might have had a fairy godmother, so to speak, that comes along and uh, and helps you out of a tricky situation. You're going to have to learn to do that yourself, and that is all about that getting of wisdom here. Um, all right, let's move to the tarot and we will draw month by month and see what comes out. You had uh, pretty good cards. Again, uh, you know, part of life is to go through the ups and, and the downs and so no reading can be perfect. But let's have a look at, and, you know, it shouldn't be. Uh, there are times when... You know, I have to say that, you know, you might be experiencing some kind of, uh, there could be some kind of sabotage going on in your life that you need to address. You might not have done that before, you know, but you do it in 2021 and it opens up a whole new vista for you. Okay, so we've got the death card coming out here. Endings, um, the wisdom to close down, knowing when to end something and when to begin something else. Okay, endings and new beginnings. Let's see uh, what's coming up here. This is, I was talking about wisdom. So knowing when to end something and knowing when to begin something else. I don't think you can uh, labour over anything in 2021. I think that you will need to act and act very quickly when uh, you need to make those decisions. So Leo 2021, January through to December. Leo 2021, January through to December. Yeah, there is going to be a lot, not a lot. There's some travelling here for you. Uh, January, we've got the King of Wands here, le a leadership position, confidence, courage, stepping forward in January. February, we have the Three of Wands. There is something that is being set up for the future and you are really, um, you can expect in some way that the work that you're doing will pay off in some way in the future, the Three of Wands. Um, March, we get the Hermit here, introspection, reflection. And uh, by April, we've got the Hanged Man. So you might have been moving forward fairly quickly in you know the beginning of the year there's a lot of momentum and then for some reason you're uh, being asked to stop and really uh, examine the detail of what it is you're setting up for the future um, because the hangman is about that it's about stopping pausing and reassessing now we have the world card again major arcana ending cycles having the courage to end cycles but a lot of new beginnings here um june there's self-restriction imposed upon you for some reason. It could be worry as well. Um, and we have justice in July. Something that was taken away needs to be given back. It's also if you have to make a decision, 
be fair because that came up for you at the beginning of the reading. And we've got the King of Pentacles in August. Okay, this could be you. Again, you've got that, uh, you know, entrepreneurial energy that came up at the beginning of the reading. So somebody could be um, strengthening their business, um, going into business, or they could be, this is Earth Energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be uh, working for somebody um, uh, that, you know, that ha that asks them to take on extra responsibility okay so we have you know, night of night of coins and this is this is reliability responsibility this night doesn't give up uh, he or she perseveres so by september you're in another role May, you know it might be in the same workplace might be in some somewhere new but you're called upon because you are reliable um and you do get the job done. We've got the Six of Cups going back to the past as well in October. Something that this blast from the past this has come up for you a lot in the three readings I've done for you. Uh, somebody walking in, hearing something from the past, going back to the past in some way. Um, and we've got November. We've got walking away from what no longer serves you. And finally, the nine of rods, um, uh, boundaries, uh, saying no as well. And it could be when you're asked to take on this extra responsibility. You know, you may have to decline. So um, at the base of the pack, you know, in 2020 was not easy. This is the energies of now. And you're very keen to move on. This is also this, you might have already accepted the job. You might be already um, traveling as well. But we've got the eight, another eight, the eight of wands, this this real real uh, speed type of feeling I get with you in 2021. Um, and, you know, really knowing when to end something and, and not listening to the intuition and acting upon it, the judgment card. Uh, I think that um, insecurity for you will be dealt with in 2021. You will deal with that in, in an in, you know, inner uh, inner Leo will deal with the, any feelings of insecurity that they may have had. They will face that once and for all. Now let's drill down on uh, each month. Okay, we've got the King of Wands here. The King of Wands. What's the King of Wands doing here, please? That King of Wands. I'll just cut this deck, freshen it up. The King of Wands, Leo, 2021. What's this King of Wands doing here? What's this King of Wands doing here? Okay, the past. Okay, so having the courage to, um, again, recapture your higher self, go back to the past, resurrect something from the past. I do feel that you may even find a hobby or pastime, something that you did in the past that brought you great joy. There's something to do with the past in January. It could be putting to bed this uh, devil energy, this toxicity and the queen of pentacles. Um, again, I just, you know, I don't want to make this reading too complex, but I'm just getting a real draw uh, to um, what may have occurred in the past that, that has, you know, really made your world unstable in some way uh, because the Queen of Pentacles talks about stability um, but it's a disappointment here in January, um, a disappointment with something, even something somebody has done in the past. All right, have the courage with this King of uh, Wands and I think you do, I think that's why the, the card is here. Have the courage to uh, face face anything that you don't want to face I think you won't have a choice but we do have leadership here and let's see what this card is yeah taking control so January really important to step into that fire energy and take control of a situation that um, may be a little bit toxic and uh, play you know really if you need to then end it have the courage to end it Let's see this three of wands, setting something up, waiting for prosperity to come, really setting things up so that prosperity is uh, almost guaranteed to arrive at that shore. And it's 
you know, literally waiting for those ships to come in. Show me this three of wands, three of, ooh, okay, so they came up fairly forcefully. Uh, we've got the temperance, angel, we've got moderation, balance, we have the queen of wands, we've got a new project, very, something you can get really involved in, uh, and we have the hierophant coming out again, which now I think would, in both readings, has kept flipping, flipping out. You have got a healing going on, I feel, um, in a relationship. And it could be even be with a Taurian uh, at, at, because the, the card of the Hierophant is, uh, is a Taurian card. But it's also change as well, reminding you, I'm very drawn to that Hierophant with his fingers up, reminding you that uh, healing can occur. Uh, and even though there might be a tricky situation um, that manifests in February or has its its roots in uh, in the past, I think that it's going to be uh, it's going to be okay. That's what that Temperance card is saying. There may be a little wait, but it's going to be okay. All right, let's see what the Virgo energy here is. The Hermit card, introspection, reflection. What is the Hermit doing here? introspection reflection in march the virgo card hermit what is the hermit card here for ah eight of eight of wands something occurring very very quickly you've got it at the base of the pack here as well again you know this is this speed i tapped into at the beginning of your reading clairvoyantly things really happening taking you by surprise happening quickly unconditional love family matters and the wheel of fortune things changing for the better um there is rapid change in march for you leo uh, rapid change uh, if you're dealing with a Virgo or if you've been worried or you're reviewing something uh, there's a shift here that's coming through now let's have a look at this uh, hanged man in April what is it's it's almost like you had to look at something in another way what is this hanged man here what is this hanged man Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving help, loans and debt, and here's our romance. Oh, Knight and the Page of Cups. Um, things are starting to move forward again. This could be around money as well. You might, you know, for some Leos, they might, you know, be waiting on uh, waiting on money to finance um, to do to move forward in some way but I'm also getting a big pull to the romance here uh, and the page of Pentacles moving forward financially so I think I'm getting I'm picking up a couple of energies here a couple of different Leos for some the wait is over in relation to to romance for others uh, you may have uh, been unable to move forward financially but it appears you get a breakthrough. And at the base of the pack, we have the Five of Pentacles. There seems to be a breakthrough. So whatever delays occur in April, it's okay. Just wait for it to resolve itself. Money will come to you. Now we have the beginning of something new in May. The World Card. Mate, the last card in the Major Arcana. What's this World Card here? doing here what's the world card here for we have eight of cups there's your ending and we've got the emperor taking control and here's your new beginning okay you start something ends be it a job relationship project something ends and something new begins uh and you go forward um you know you leave that that feeling of loss behind you put the ending to bed and you move forward fairly confidently with a plan uh, with this Queen of Swords energy. Let's have a look at eight. It's not uncommon when we begin new cycles or new endeavours to be uh, a little worried and it's often worry that's in our own mind, that it, it's not real. It's, you know, what happens if this happens or that happens? What's this eight of swords what's this eight of swords in june for leo what's the eight of swords i'm reminded that with this card yeah you could be worried there could be somebody 
you know, her, bullying and harassment comes to mind with this card. Somebody that's trying to stand over you. Uh, but we've got the Page of Pentacles as well, which is moving forward, uh, so, something new. Yeah, you know, also I'm getting a pull to um, some people being jealous and envious of you in some way. You may have been offered something with this new beginning. It's starting to pay off financially. And this can be the card of uh, you know, people being jealous. Uh, really, don't worry. Thing is, don't worry about what other people are thinking because that it, you'll never you'll never solve it. You'll never be able to influence it. And so this worry is really self created and really causing you to feel like you're in some sort of in, uh, imprisoned. But this person can remove that blindfold and can step outside of those swords at any time now we have justice occurring here what's this justice card here what is the justice card for leos what is the justice card here for review uh the seven of pentacles back to the drawing board okay so finances clearly are up and down and the king of pentacles appearing here again for some, uh, you know, you might have to conserve and budget in that second quarter. You know, you have things coming to you and then, you know, with that before you know it, it's, it, it all goes out the door. But ultimately, three of wands. Um, for, for some, and particularly for those that are in business, because I've got the king of pentacles here, there's an ebb and a flow around cash flow. And uh, you might have to be careful to make sure that in the times when you have abundant cash, you need to put some away for when that wellspring dries up. Um, so, because there's a real need to budget here. Okay. All right. So, again, we have August, the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles in August. What's the King of Pentacles doing here? Two of Wands, yeah, being patient for money to come in. Uh, again, the cash flow issues, the Nine of Swords uh, and the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups as well. So stability and the King of Wands. Okay, the, the stability will be gained by this careful balancing of the budget, I feel, um, for some. This could be an earth energy as well, somebody you're dealing with. <coughs> Pardon me. Virgo, <clears throat> Taurus, Capricorn. That figures quite prominently by the time uh, we enter August. September, the Knight of Pentacles. What's happening here, the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, okay. Again, the cycles of the year, uh, they are up and down, but there are some really positive things that are occurring for you. We've got family, we've got celebrations, and we have healing here and manifestation energy, which is beautiful with this Knight of Pentacles. The last quarter, uh, you start the last quarter in a fairly strong position. Now we have this Six of Cups that keeps showing up. Nostalgia, reunification with your higher self, someone from the past coming back into your life. Show me the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. The Empress. Okay, abundance and strength. Wow. It's like you and the Queen of Swords. Okay, it's like you... Um, you move on from one situation and you rediscover this uh, this strength. Uh, could be somebody from the past coming through, uh, but there's change. Again, you know, it's, it's always about change in 2021. The Eight of Cups leaving behind what no longer serves you and moving forward again. What's the Eight of Cups here for? How many times, four times, this uh, Three of Wands appears? You're going, really learning, here's our Virgo, 
you're learning throughout the year, things coming to the surface, that really things you worry about, it's it's not real. It's the worry of the thoughts continually going round and round in your in your head. Uh, a lot of you are, are worried, quite worried about money, but you don't need to be. You really don't need to be because there is this new start on offer for you. You've got this three of wands setting things up very strongly throughout 2021. This in itself is quite an abundant energy. Setting things up in 2021 for that ship to come home, to come in to shore, for abundance to come in. Uh, there's also travel four times. There's also travel indicated with three of wands for some, not for everybody. Show me this nine of wands. Show me this nine of wands. Needing to learn, learning how to say no. Learning how to say no. You know, sometimes you can be, well, you've come up with a strength card. That is your card a couple of times in this reading. You need to learn how to say no because you know, it really does, in the end, lead to your independence. If you can't say no, you're reliant upon other people. By learning how to say no and put those boundaries up, you are moving into that kind of authenticity and freedom that we all we all know is there for us. We just have to be strong enough to pursue it. Show me this Nine of Wands, December. The lover's card could be something to do with a relationship. Uh, and we've got a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. But I think this is to do for those that are unattached. Yeah, victory. Somebody could even apologise to you. There's a reunification occurring by December. And it can't come soon enough because you're you're pretty battle-weary battle by that stage. So a mixed bag. Um, I can see a lot of... Um, you know, travel could be could be relocating even overseas travel, but there's also uh, an opportunity for abundance here as well. There are a lot of endings and new beginnings here, uh, and I think being recognised for skill and being offered perhaps offered something new. But there's also this strong connection with the past coming through here as well. So you could hear. Someone could just walk through the door that you haven't seen in a long time in 2021. Okay, uh, I think that that's enough readings on Leo <laughs> 2021. Uh, hopefully I won't lose this one and, uh, and then that means you'll be able to see it. So um, thank you for tuning in, Leo, uh, and I'm not sure why that occurred. Maybe there are a lot of messages to get through to you from three readings. It was like part one, part two, part three. But I think we got there in the end. So thank you for joining me and namaste.